This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson Arrays and For Loops, constructing a for loop from scratch. Now that you've had some practice modifying for loop, uh, modifying for loops to process arrays, let's see if you can do it yourself. Yes, I can. <laughs> do this. Whoa. We've provided the design elements and an array to start with, but the rest is on you. Add an event handler to respond to the thumbs up button being clicked. Okay, so I need an on event and then add an event handler to respond to the... Okay, so what ID is thumbs up? Oh, button. That one. Got it. And so when the thumbs up button is clicked, okay, place a for loop inside the event handler. Okay, controls maybe. Yep, and here's our for loop. Drop that in there. Modify the exit condition of the for loop so that it will run until it gets to the end of the array of images. All right. So that sounds like a mouthful. The end of the array of images is just images. How many things? One, two, three, four, five, six. But we don't need to worry about that because instead of counting how many, we're just going to ask the computer to do that. Images dot length. And this way it will always work even if this array size changes because the computer is going to grab the length of the images array first and then run the loop. Inside the for loop, okay, we did that. Inside your for loop, change the current image to icon. Oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead then, and what we want to do is set the property. Now, what do we want to set the property of? Well, every single image, right? Because the IDs are image 6, image 3, image 2, and the way we can do that is by using our array here. So I'm going to say images and then i because i is what we're using to loop and image i so what do i want to change set the property of image i so it starts at zero so that will be image one and what do i want to change well i want to change that property image to I've just got to delete all that, and it looks like it needs to be on quotes. I'm going to write the word icon, colon, slash, slash, fa, hyphen, thumbs, hyphen, o, hyphen, up, and then quotes. Okay, and this should loop through starting at zero. So, and what's at the zero index? Oh, image one. It's going to change. It's going to set the property of thumbs up. Hits the bottom, goes back to the top. I, I, I plus plus, so image, now I is at 1, because I started at 0. What's at the first at index 1? Well, remember, indexes start at 0, so at index 1 is image 2, so we change that image, go back to the top, I plus plus, so what is 1 plus 1? Because plus plus means plus 1, that is 2. Okay, well, what's at the index of images 2? Well, since we start at 0, 0, 1, 2, Image 3 is at that index, so now we've changed that, and we should keep going. Let's try. But uh Awesome. Onward!